Today we're going to discuss a key issue under the FIDIC Red Book, 99 edition. The question is, can the engineer make more than one determination for the same claim? Now a lot of you may be surprised by what I'm about to say. The answer is yes. You may well ask, where does it say that in the contract? In subclause 1.3, the word determination is used in a plural form, that is, determinations. Now, this could mean more than one determination for one claim or several determinations for an equivalent number of claims. So let's explore this a bit further. In accordance with subclause 20.1, within 42 days of receiving a claim or further particulars, the engineer should give a response stating whether he approves or disapproves of the claim in principle. This is mandatory. The engineer cannot procrastinate on making a decision unless an extension to this 42-day period has been agreed with the contractor. Therefore, the engineer would make an interim determination and based on additional particulars provided by the contractor, the engineer may make revisions to his previous determinations. Subclause 20.1 obliges the engineer to make determinations and also to make a requisite adjustment to the contractor's interim payment certificate for each and every determination. If you look at subclause 3.5, Again, the plural form of the word de de uh, determination excuse me, is used. This subclause also states that the engineer's determination is binding unless and until the same is revised under subclause 20. Subclause 20 refers to the provisions for claims, disputes and arbitration. It does not refer just to arbitration. This is very important. Therefore, pursuant to subclause 20.1, the engineer may make further determinations for each claim based on the additional information provided by the contractor. However, it would be prudent for the engineer to clearly state that the determination is interim and that the same would be revised after the contractor submits further particulars. It should also be noted that the contractor could refer an interim determination to the dispute adjudication board, but it is advisable for the contractor to try and reach an amicable agreement at the first instance. In order to arrive at his determination, the engineer is required to consult with each party separately and or jointly and try to reach an agreement with both parties, not just one party. Finally, if the engineer cannot reach an agreement uh, within a reasonable period of time, he should make a fair and final determination in accordance with the contract. After the engineer has made a final determination, he should advise the contractor accordingly. If the contractor does not agree with the final determination, he may refer the same to the dispute adjudication board. One last thing. This interpretation is officially supported by FIDIC. That's all. Thank you for watching.